through my platform. Just for small fee, of course, but I remember that you just share your story, always want to come back to a time that you play with your grandparents on the internet. Is that yeah. a true story? Yes, I actually live with my grandparents. I have my grandma's name. So I'm very connected with them. And the way that they describe their childhood when it comes to playing in the fields or going to the mountains or you know, going to the river, you know, sneaking from their parents and going to watch it. It's beautiful the way that they explain nature, the way that they show their surroundings. And then talking to my sister, who's seven years younger than me, and she's more about like, oh, we're doing TikTok dances. <laughs> and to me, that sounds so absurd. And I was like, I want to live the way my grandparents did. I want to enjoy that. And that really stuck up to me when my grandma told me about it. And I always ask her about it. Because unfortunately, not everyone can live it right now. So hearing it, I believe by hearing it, slowly we can take action. And why not in the near future, or maybe not that near future, but probably somewhere in the future, we can really do those things. Um, maybe for all of our four queens, like a rapid fire question of sorts. If there is one word, okay, if there is one word to describe the entire journey, and you can explain for like a quick bit what word would that be? You can start with Cora or Miss Earth Fire. Exciting. There's a new activity every day. There's a new thing that I get to experience never before. So it's really exciting and I'm so happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Miss Earth Water, the one word you can explain. For me, it would be creative mm -hmm. because I believe that, you know, TNA, it was my, it's, it's my first time um, being able to participate in so many activities that was um, you know, prepared by TNA Entertainment as well as the production. And I think that it, all, it helped me learn more about our environment and our um, environment. It's like part of Q&A, but I didn't know. Yana, or Miss Earth Air. For me, it would have to be fulfilling because more than you know, doing the environmental stuff that Miss Earth has been advocating for for the past decades, I feel like it's very fulfilling because I was able to learn more the culture and the traditions of the Vietnamese people, and I was able to see a lot of similarities with the, you know, with the cultures of the Vietnamese and also the Filipinos. And as soon as I stepped foot here in Vietnam, I was really, you know, feeling at home, really feeling at ease because I get reminded of also the Filipino community. And our new Earth team, one word. It would be challenging, but a beautiful challenge with a great outcome. Thank you so much. To Miss Anne, Miss Anne, um, congratulations, yes, congratulations for the superb, excellent production. My question is, where in Vietnam will be the next year's edition of Miss Earth? <laughs> you know, I want to keep the secret, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that we're going to cross a few provinces, but I can hint at one city right now is Haiphong. One of, okay? Okay, so we need to flights for it, right? Yeah, exactly. I have a question. Each queen could answer shortly to each other in the round. So basically, we know that this dialogue is all about work and the service of the organization. So what is the first project that you're excited to, to work now with your respective titles? Well, uh, definitely right now we will be talking about our next project. We just got crowned, so there's a lot of things going on. But to me, I think it's really important working with territories, actually meeting people. I said this in another interview that I did. So hopefully we will get to do a project where we can work hand in hand and actually put on the work like action, not just talking. So we'll see. We'll show you guys the moment that we have in the plan. Awesome. What about you guys? Of course, since I go back to Thailand, I wanted to start my advocacy and actually start going to you know, the field and actually get my hands dirty, pet groceries, talk to people, and you know, educate them a bit because Thailand does have a lot of rural areas where their understanding of things aren't just, that aren't too broad. So I think it can make a difference in, you know, <laughs> I've been very vocal about me traveling to all 17 regions of my country, the Philippines, conducting the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Aligned 
community outreaches. And I would really love to, you know, continue doing that and expand more of that, especially that one of the greatest gifts that Ms. Erta has given me with would be the, you know, the beautiful ecosystemhood that we were able to build on. And I was able to learn more about the other girls' countries. So hopefully through this platform, I get to also visit other countries together with the other queens to, you know, conduct those projects alongside with a Ms. Earth platform. Um, for myself, I actually want to start on our eco library that we we actually held each other accountable for because on um, Team Asia we did our eco project on eco library and we held each other accountable that after the competition was over we would all go back to our respective countries and um, we would build our own eco library in our respective countries. Um, but, but not only that, on January twenty. 20th, I actually have a trip planned to the mountain range um, to actually speak upon um, you know, sorting uh, waste and plastic to all the indigenous people of Nakanova. But um, I would say that throughout uh, tonight, I was very confident about you know, my responses. Um, so I was, I was always hoping that I would make it, um, you know, with all the rest of the girls up there on top four. But um, I wouldn't say that it was out of my expectations. But it was very hard to hear whether or not it was uh, my country's name. Being 